smile, everyone. <laughs> this is a picture of our video. We out here waiting for the Marta. We got our suitcases. We're going to Austin, Texas. Hey, ACL Festival, we're coming for you, bitch. <laughs> Hey guys, what's up? My name is Kaylee. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. You know, I'm not really sure if I love the thick bun on top with the hair at the bottom. I think I like a smaller bun. I think I like a smaller bun. I think I like a smaller bun. Um, it's this way for sure. <laughs> I think I like a smaller bun. So this past week, I went to Texas, baby. Yeehaw. Yeah, so I went to Texas with some friends, Azure and Courtney, the two people you saw in the clip before. We decided a couple months ago, we wanted to go to Austin City Limits Music Festival, which is a very large music festival in Austin, Texas. But we might have accidentally booked our Airbnb 18 miles outside of Austin. Yeah, in the country, if you will. And during this clip that you saw, we had no idea. Well, I mean, like we knew, but I don't think we realized just yet how bad it was, how far we were into the country. I know I don't do a lot of traveling vlogs, but I think you guys are gonna like this one. So let's roll the video. All right, I'ma head out. <laughs> What is that? It's a dollop of something. Thumbs this video up if you love Bobby Flay. <laughs> Testing one, two. So we called a lift from the airport to our Airbnb. And I knew we were kind of far away from the airport. Like most airports are just like not in a really popular area. The first part of the drive was really fun. We saw the city and all that stuff. It was great. And then we started to get to the country and I was like, where are we? Um, ma'am. No idea where we are. <laughs> Middle nowhere, Texas. Yeehaw. Yeehaw. So I won't lie. It was pretty overwhelming once we got there. We get out of the lift and we were like, what? Gravel road, a small country home in the middle of nowhere and whatever that thing was outside the Airbnb. Not gonna lie though, it was really cute. Like the photos on the Airbnb website made it super, super attractive and welcoming. And we were like, yeah, it's like kind of cheap and we're gonna be a little far. Yeehaw, yeehaw. I'm ready to see a fucking cow. Give me your best cow. Like look at this bed spread. Boom, Texas, 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 Texas. Fat ass Texas. Wow. Moo. Wow. Ha! It's a life. Texas life. I don't know if you guys heard or saw that, but right before I said Texas, a fly appeared in the camera and started buzzing. If that doesn't scream, literally middle of nowhere, Texas, I don't know what does. So we were hungry as soon as we got there. So we showered, got ready, and we were off to find something to eat. This is sort of when it hit us, how far we were from civilization. Um, <laughs> when we called an Uber to just go to a Mexican restaurant, it was so far away. Um, so basically we stayed in this place called Manchok, Texas. It's spelled like Manshasha, but it's Manchok. That's what our Uber driver told us. As you can see by this map, it is kind of far from Austin, 15 to 18 miles, depending on where exactly in Austin you are going. It was it just, honestly, I know it probably doesn't sound that crazy, but I'm a city girl. <laughs> okay, welcome to my song called Countryside, ready? Countryside, side. Countryside, 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 countryside. Hey everyone, look at my makeup. Okay, so this Hi. is definitely trial and error going on right now. Let me get you some light, get you the full look. We should sign the guest book. I look pale as fuck. Okay, it's not as good as I 
<laughs> yeah, very uneven, but we're trying things. As you guys saw in my last video, that wasn't very good. <laughs> uh, go watch it if you haven't seen it. Look at her mom bag, got it from Kohl's. Actually, H&M. <laughs> it's hot as balls in this bitch. I'm gonna be sweating. I don't think I like this. I think you need some color, maybe. I do have color, I need my eyes. Look how pretty. We need some B-roll in this hoe. Just a bunch of city girls on some dirt ass road. We are in the middle of nowhere. Ah! Ooh, that's a greasy camera. Hey guys, so I'm going to bed. Yes, I didn't take my makeup off and First night in the middle of nowhere, Texas. Um, so we're staying in this place called Mancasha, Manchada, Horchata. I actually think I'm gonna start journaling just to be like real or whatever. Um, so basically, I've just been so filled with anxiety today, and I think that's partly because for like the last two months, I've had like a pretty strict routine. I basically wake up, edit, plan videos, edit for others, edit, 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 become like very much a homebody. Body. And I've kind of naturally always been like I've like nested I've always like found a place I loved which is the house that I just moved into as you guys know a couple months ago Moved out of my parents house moved into a house with a couple roommates I like love that house more than I could possibly imagine and say I'm gonna be in Austin for five days And it's just so nerve-wracking to not do any type of work of editing or but I just have been so filled with anxiety Just because like I'm off my routine and I never have been a routine person But now I realize wait a minute this whole time I thought I wasn't doing anything productive I actually have been because I'm missing the productivity I'm trying to like sort of put my emotions emotions out onto like words like onto like a physical thing so I'm just sitting in my wood Texas room like the whole house is so wooded um <laughs> I know I didn't really vlog that much today, but I'm definitely gonna insert a couple clips of the house Friday Saturday and Sunday the next three days are the music festival and I'm really excited about that and I just hope my anxiety doesn't get the best of me because we know it does Floss <laughs> Anyways, I'm gonna journal a little bit and then I'm gonna go to bed. I love you guys and I will see you in the morning Good morning. Good morning, vlog. We out here drinking stale coffee. So here's the dilemma that happened this morning. Last night, we set, there's an alarm system in this bitch and we set it. Not being dumbasses. We didn't know the code or anything, but we just set it. We were like, okay, we'll worry about it in the morning. My dumbass wakes up at seven o'clock. Wanting to see the sunset. It's been raining, there's no sunset. Sunrise, get down. I'm drunk, I don't know. I open the door, the alarm goes off. I say, oh shit. I try to put in the code for the door, didn't work. It's going, wow, 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 wow. I pressed a random button and the alarm finally went off, but it's still disarmed. So every time we open the door. Girl, get your words. When I vlog, I get nervous. It is still armed, meaning every time we open up a door, it's gonna go off. So we try contacting the host. The host is like, we never set it up. This is because it connect to anything. I don't have a code. And now we're drinking some stale ass coffee trapped in the Airbnb. We don't know what the hell to do. Comment down below if you know. And it was all my fault because they were all sleeping when I opened the door. So I bust in their room and they're like, turn it off. And I'm like, bitch, you think I know how? Why do you think I busted through this door? I don't know how. We cooking, we chefing. We chefing some carbohydrate. A little bit of an update on the alarm situation. The Airbnb host called us or she texted us and she told us what the code was. We tried a couple different codes. We finally got the code. It was 1111. And that's on alarm system settings. We ready. Today's look. We're going to the festival now. What time is it? Two o'clock. It's cold as shit outside. So I got on the grout show. I mean, the grout, grout fit. fit. The grout fit. Crusty sweater. It's literally 50 degrees outside. Was not anticipating this. These are my um, airport leggings and smells like pussy. So that's good. Whoever said Texas wasn't scenic was obviously lying. Look at this beautiful land and architecture. Oh my god, I love it. I smell weed. It's like 50 degrees 
we frozen. Oh my. my toes are numb. Hello bitches and hoes, we are back from the festival. It is currently 11 o'clock on the dot. That was a shit show getting back. We got like lost in the park. You were definitely crying. Cause my toe was hurting. <laughs> is it broken? No, but it felt like it was so loud. And now Azure and I are about to give each other feet rubs. I just wanna let everyone know where we're staying. I was saying Mancasha, but it's Manchok. I had to Google it, right? And that's all. <laughs> and guess what? <laughs> <laughs> That's on man talk. Oh my god. I can't believe we're out in the middle of nowhere right now Me and Azure made a deal in the middle of the mosh pit that we we're gonna give each other. Oh Oh my god, she started. We're gonna give each other foot rubs. So here we go. It's a vibe vibe check Day two look, clown things. Don't know if I like this at all. Here we are waiting for Miss Meg the Stallion to come grace us with her presence for her set at ACL and she didn't. Okay, Meg the Stallion did not come out and we were very, very upset. So we just ate and we're chilling. It's been a night. My makeup still kind of looks decent. We were walking home from the festival and there was all these like really cute little um, like shops and restaurants and we stopped at this market. It's like so cute. It was like a little independent market that had a bunch of plant-based stuff and we got some goodies. Put it in reverse, Terry. Hi everyone, so we're back home, showered, but I just wanted to share something. So I wore a bunch of pressed pigments today from the James Charles palette, and I didn't think this was ever gonna happen, but it literally stained my skin. The beauty gurus, gurus? The gurus were, <laughs> the beauty gurus were right. This shit does stain your eyes if you leave it on too long. But we had like an Uber driver on the way back who had been to the festival last week tell us there was like a shit show going on between the performances of Lizzo and Casey Musgraves and those are the two people I am literally so pumped to see tomorrow and she was saying how she tried to see both but it was like impossible and like she missed like all of Lizzo's because she went to Casey's and how Lizzo's set got so packed to the point where now that she's this huge artist and like topping the charts all these people want to see her which is so understandable and so wonderful for Lizzo but Bitch, I want to see her. So I'm like kind of bummed out that it's gonna be a mess. Casey is between like five and six and Lizzo says between six and seven. So I can definitely see how that can be an issue. I guess I wasn't factoring in that people are gonna be lining up and waiting. <laughs> Here's some cute pics of me looking like a wreck from crying because Lizzo's performance was so powerful. If you ever have a chance to see her, please do. I can't even put into words Lizzo. I can't even do it. I can't even do it. I can't do it. I cannot put into words what Lizzo has done for me. Um, and that's just on period. I will never be the same. I'll never be the same. And that's it. We watching tall girls or whatever. Tall girls be like, you think your life is bad? You think your life is bad? <laughs> Try wearing a size 13. Nikes and men. <laughs> So we decided to stay one more day in Austin after the festival to explore Austin because we all had never been. So casually keep diving into concrete. So bittersweet. Huh? Keep losing sleep while driving in the backseat. What's left of me? Theater kids be like, 
theater kids be like, ah, he deserved that oh little trick chair. Hey guys, what's up? It's me. We're back at the Airbnb. It's six o'clock now. Tomorrow, Azure and I have a flight. Hurley, yeeho. But yeah, kind of sucks to be leaving tomorrow. Just, you know, had a fun time, you know. A couple things I want to document from our lovely country Airbnb was this photo of Willie Nelson. They really love him here in Texas. Also, look how cool this freaking barrel is. It has a light inside that illuminates the bathroom and then you open it up and it's like this huge light and then you close it and it's so cool. Getting closer, how to keep the human So funny story about this little, <laughs> this little clip. Azure. <laughs> We're just gonna say she has IBS. She bought some powder laxatives, white powder laxatives. And you probably know how that went going through TSA. Coming in from Atlanta, they were just like, oh, let me check it, it's fine. Leaving Austin, they had to give her a full body, a full pat down, a full thorough investigation of the white powder. <laughs> that was her laxatives. So we had to wait 20 minutes for her to get patted down and screened by security. Sometimes everything just gets hot. Sometimes everything just gets 